What's up, YouTube, my Coronas and Coronitas? It's your boy Dalton, aka the Florida Flipper. And if you are new to my channel, I am a full time Goodwill employee, part time eBay, Poshmark, and Depop reseller. I'm mainly into the vintage clothing, as you see in the title. I copped some Fuego from my boy, the Florida Thrift Man. If you don't follow him, here's his Instagram. Whew. He's got the fire on there, but his Depop is where you need to go. Check out the true Grails. That is the homie. He's local here. Someone that actually got me into vintage. Um, typically, I'll tell you guys the prices that um, I pay for things. This, I'm not. This was a trade deal. This is uh, between just me and uh, the thrift man. Got you, bro. But yeah, thank you so much. I got a big stack of heat right here. I've seen some of the pieces. Haven't seen them all. Haven't seen them in death, really looking at all the tags. We kind of did just like a quick flip. Just went in and out of there. It's the homie, you know, but you got to stay safe with this Coronitas. That's right, COVID-19. Watch out. It's real. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. So I'm just going to start digging right into the box. I've seen some of the pieces, not every single one of them, but some of them, yeah, I did hand pick. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. I see on top, we've got that planet. Hollywood Mall of America. Actually, that's pretty fire. I've never been to the Mall of America here in the good old USA, and it is on the Planet Hollywood large tag. Um, double stitched though. I'm going to throw that back there. Ooh, here's a good one. I did see this one. I love me some Adidas white tag. Here's just an essential gray Adidas. I'll show you the tag to you guys. By the way, that first tee, I'll probably ask 20 on my Depop. That one as well, probably the same. This one looks a little stained, but whew, this might fit the little flipper. Check it out. This is an independent. I used to be a big skateboarder back in the day. I was a shredder. Shredded the gnar. But yeah, this is a... Here's an independent right here. It looks like a small... Let's see here. Made in USA. It's a medium. It's not a medium definitely a small but maybe flipper can grow into that or someone out there on the petite size might want it next tee is uh actually very buttery soft dude can't believe it's not butter no i'm just kidding can't believe it's not butter can you no brian i don't think they can maybe not here's a jerseys it's a size large not size medium 38 40 i don't know if you guys can see that maybe see it better right there camera's not focusing just a basic eagle tee let's see if it's dated it is not dated, but it's Gulf Coast Sportswear. I'm sure it's probably something local. Let's see if we got that single stitch sleeve. We do have that single stitch sleeve, so that's fire. Probably another $20 shirt. Just bread and butter, some uh, biscuits and gravy, some rice and beans, whichever, whatever part of America you're from or the world at that matter. I don't know who's watching my videos, but uh, shout out to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. But here is a Diesel Project Denim Division. Uh not sure exactly what that is maybe i'll uh throw some comps on the board i'm not gonna do comps for all of these but i will for that one and i'll show you the tag right there i wasn't big in diesel i feel like maybe i'm super wrong maybe this is something i should know but i just don't i, I didn't open this tee but i did see that it's on the anvil made in usa so it's probably got the single stitch yeah it's a single stitch sleeve i'll show you the anvil tag <laughs> I think it's the one size fits all. Yeah, it's the one size fits all. So it's like a sleep tee or like pretty much like a 2X. But it is, looks like some Indian woman's bikini body. And uh, yeah, this might be uh, the flipper sleep tee. Um, by the way, if you guys do want to check out my Depop, I'm going to throw it like somewhere on the screen. That's Carter's Concepts. Most of this stuff will be on there. And whatever you don't see on there, um, I probably kept for myself like this one kind of into t-shirts like this this is a medium it is a van grack it says it's uh fabricated in hong kong so there's a good chance that is vintage i'll show you the tag right there that's pretty cool though some kind of like oh it's got a that's a cool little patch on the bottom right there just kind of like a a tribal i don't know like a weaving kind of basket looking like a basket weave orange thing i don't know i might keep that one that one's kind of fire i like the the crazy all over stuff like that oh this is a good tea this is a good tea it is a screen print though it's a screen print bro it's okay it's not all vintage i knew it wasn't all vintage but it's the black flag damaged i'm sure i could get still a with a, it has a nice fade so nothing on the back but with that fade right there i could probably ask like 25 free shipping on the pop so i'll take it this next one pretty sick it's on the looney tag 
Um, this was a t-shirt he's had for a while. I'm kind of glad I got it. I love me some Bugs Bunny, but it's just that essential Bugs Bunny with the little the little meatball stain in the corner. It's all right. We can get that out. But that's pretty sick. See, something like that, I would ask a little bit more. Maybe $30, $35 free shipping on my Depop. Nothing crazy, though. Just some, some rice and beans, biscuits and gravy. You know what I'm saying? Before you guys get ahead of yourself, there is some super fuego in here. Just wait till the bottom. I did pack those couple pieces on the bottom. This is pretty sick. Raw life living. This is actually rolling papers for that good old tobacco. Just kidding. It's for the Mary J, for the marijuana, for the good old P.O.T. But uh, yeah, this is pretty sick. Um, I don't know. I might keep it myself. I uh, am a medical marijuana patient. And before you're like, yo, dude, you just got that because you like smoke weed. No, it's because I'm actually a type 1 diabetic. If you go to my other videos, I explain a little bit more about that. But uh pfft. A nice tea and if i were to put that on my depop i would ask an easy 30 40 bucks because those go for good money in the head shops and if you don't know what a head shop is it's like a tobacco shop whatever here's a cool one though it's the i think it's an o2 let me check the date on it no 2004 2004 but it is the green day right there. oh i didn't even know it is the american idiot tour this was an essential essential band for me when I was a kid growing up in the good old middle schools. Wanna be an American idiot. But check it out. There's the American Idiot Tour right there, 05 on the back. That is super sick. They actually came here. I tried to win tickets on the radio when I was a kid. And uh, yeah, if I won tickets on the radio, I'd probably have that shirt in my size. Um, here is an official Whale Watch Observer shirt. Pretty sick. I like these kind of different tees it's got that buttery 80s feel on that old jerseys tag right there it is single stitch on the sleeve but i cannot believe it's not butter bro no i'm, I'm not kidding though it's really soft pretty sick t-shirt i don't know i'm into the whole whale thing you know save the whales the whole sea world of florida thing this one um yeah it's a new one it's on the gildan tag but uh, I just had to get it. I like these funny tees. This is that Gildan. And uh, yeah, it's uh, the Master Lure Baiter. I know everything there is to know about the shrimping business. It's the Master Baiter shirt right here. Pretty uh, a central t-shirt for the, the people really stuck in the hard, lonely Coronas. <laughs> it's so bad that I just said that. On that t-shirt, I would ask like 30 bucks. Your boy, the flipper is not keeping that for sure. <laughs> All right, next up, this is As Blood Runs Black. Um, wow, this is, I think, in early 2000s. This this print is super sick. It's on the Hanes Heavyweight right there. But, uh, yeah, As Blood Runs Black. Someone out there probably knows about this. Your boy does not. Um, I didn't listen to heavy metal. I think as close as I got to somewhat screamo was Hawthorne Heights. If you guys know what that is. I don't know. Next up, we've got a RM Steen. Nothing on the back. So you guys have been looking at nothing. Sorry about that. It says uh, Ramstein. Ramstein. It looks like a Tennessee River tag. Yeah, it's on the Tennessee River. Size Pachicho. That means small. And it's got a sleeve hit too. So if anyone out there. So probably be listed by the time I post this. Maybe not. So if anyone knows about this, maybe uh, let your boy know because uh, a little lost on that one. Now let's see what this is right here. This is a newer print. This is a Gildan size medium. It seems like that is the overall size of this box, which is straight because your boy can squeeze. But this, I can't even see what that says. Oh, man. I'm sorry, you guys. I really can't read that. Well, it says this. I'm going to put it up on the screen so you guys can read it. Um, yeah, I've got no idea. i got no idea on this one. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like I'm really trying and I can't. I, I can't read it. I can't read it. I'm sorry. It says boy at the end. I see B-O-Y. So I guess that's a, that's a quick start. I have no idea, guys, if you guys can help me out there. We're just going to get to the next tee. Not sure what this is. We'll start with the tag. It's on the Anvil, Honduras. This could mean late 90s. This tag can still mean late 90s, that Anvil tag, but I'm not sure. The front, 
so yeah you can't see it well I, i'm not sure what's on the front but the back says the streets are extended gutters and the gutters are full of blood and when the drains finally scab over all the vermin will drown rorschach Rorsch, rorschach i'm not sure if that's a bible verse or what exactly that is but uh definitely gonna have to look into this t-shirt it's definitely a fire graphic and it's definitely old but uh yeah I'm gonna have to do a lot of research on some of this stuff. It's all good though. It's all good. It's part of the ball game. You know what I mean? You signed up to be a reseller. You gotta actually look up your stuff. Here is a true jerseys by Russell 80s tag. That is super sick. If you guys can see it right there, but it is just the Florida Gators. That banging essential. I might have to keep this. That's a super sick t-shirt in my high school. I, we were actually the Gators, so I'm kind of got like a soft spot in my heart, especially because Tebow was running the house back then. 26 yard line. Tebow, quick throw, Hernandez a catch. Inside the 10. Tebow, baby, Tebow, but nah, I, I'm not kidding. The Gators are the best, bro. And they might not be the best this season or last season, but, but they're the best to me, bro. <laughs> But uh, here is one I got for a personal tee. This is probably one of the only ones I will keep for my personal because I know it fits because your boy put it on already. But it is that Winston Cup 1992 Bristol. It's got Earnhardt on the front with go Richard Petty and uh, Kodak. I'm not sure who that was. But my parents used to watch um, NASCAR religiously on Sundays. So your boy is kind of into the old NASCAR. Um yeah, it's got the Winston Cup, so uh, it was all about the cigarettes back then. Not sure if you guys knew that. Marble was a big sm sponsor, and now it's all beer, so we've just transferred from the lung smokers to the to the D-wires, if that makes any sense. All righty, and for the last couple pieces, if they don't fit me, they will be up on Depop, so you guys should definitely take a look. This is on the old Mickey and Co. tag. Super fire, but it is the essential Mickey and Co. all over, just... Pff. Just a sick crew neck. It's actually like pretty much dead stock when it comes to like the cuffs on the sleeve. But this is a super nice, super nice. I've been doing really good with crew necks and pullovers on my Depop. So on this bad boy, I'm probably going to ask 50 and take the first $40 that's offered to me. But uh, yeah, it's a super sick crew neck right there. I will take it. Next up, we've got, of course, to back up the Mickey, we've got the Minnie Mouse crew neck for him and her look at that we could do it if you guys want it you could sh carter's concepts right there that's the deep pop but it is on the designs tag the disney designs that's the 90s red tag that is super nice um i'll be honest i'm not a big mini fan i'm sorry for my mini fans out there i'm a mickey you know it's all about the mickey that's where it started but uh yeah i love it and then to my favorite piece that i know it's not going to fit me and sadly i know it's not going to fit me but it is just so fire. It's the Looney Tunes right there with the big old screen print. This is actually the freeze print Taz right there. And it does have the sick sleeve hit right there. I'm not sure if you guys can read it, but it says Unleash right there. And it says, of course, The Beast on the other sleeve. I know you guys can't really read that, but this is super, super dope. This is one of my favorite tees for sure. But, uh, yeah, it's on the Freeze 1998 Warner Bros. So, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to throw it up in the camera. Hopefully, you guys can see it. I'm just going to pan around. But, no doubt, it's definitely one of my favorite pieces out of this whole purchase. Um, It's probably going to be on the Depop. It looks like it might fit your boy. But, uh, I kind of like the double-sided prints. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Super sick. On something like this, though, I would ask a little bit north. Maybe uh, anywhere from 55 to 75 bucks, depending on how I feel. And if it gets on the Explore page on Depop, then I could definitely raise it. If you aren't familiar with Depop, because I have a lot of people that follow me from eBay when I first started, Depop, if you get put on the Explore page, being put on the Explore page on Depop is like being put on your normal feed in Instagram. If you're an Instagrammer or like Facebook and you hit search and all these random pictures come up, of random people, it's kind of what the Explore page is. When you just hit the search bar, you're one of the top people in the Explore. So with that, you can take that advantage of everyone coming to your page off of that one item. Something like that, that's kind of obscure, different, like this Taz crew, I could throw it up there, and if they put it on the Explore page, sometimes you can hike the price 
and you can get full price for it, especially when it's something super rare like that. So if you guys are new to Depop, maybe something to think about, put in the back of your mind, maybe help you out in the future. All right, so your boy has got a mess to clean up right now for sure. I want to say thank you for watching, you guys. This is my way of sourcing right now, especially since I can't be working at the Goodwills and we can't do nothing. We're stuck inside doing nothing. This is horrible, but I hope you guys got your little stimulus checks and you guys are saving and doing what you can do and stay safe. Stay inside. Clean your hands. Check out my Depop. Buy some stuff. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Peace.